Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing four ice lolly recipes with you all. I have also done one extra ice lolly recipe, which I have uploaded to my Instagram page. I will link it down below in my description box. Go and give it a watch because it's a really fun watermelon ice lolly recipe. I might actually put it on my YouTube shorts as well. So yeah, keep watching, subscribe so you don't miss it. I really hope you enjoy these ice lolly recipes. Thank you so much for watching and let's get making. So before I get into the recipes, I just wanted to quickly show you the lolly molds that I use. I got these from Amazon. I'll link them down below in my description box, but you get six molds. And then as you can see, you get like a base plate and then you put each of the molds into the base plate so that when you put them in the freezer, they don't fall over and you don't lose any of your lolly contents. They're really, really good and they also come with a little pouring spout so you can put the pouring spout into each of the molds and then pour your liquid in really easily without spilling any. Right let's get on with the recipes now. So for this smoothie I have sliced up a kiwi, I have got some blueberries here and I've also sliced up two strawberries and then I have got some flavoured water. So this is orange and peach flavoured water but you can obviously have whatever flavour you would like. What I'll start off by doing is just laying my fruit into my little lolly holders. I'll try and place them around the side of my lollies so that when they're frozen and you take them out you can see all the fruit kind of nicely placed. Once I've done that I will then just fill the lollies up with my flavoured water and put them in the freezer. Once they're done, as you can see, they come out looking really, really effective and they're really healthy as well because there's just fruit and then some flavored water in there. So for these lollies, what I have got in here, this is like a little blitzer machine. I have got a couple of strawberries, I have got some honey, and I have also got a couple of tablespoons of coconut yogurt. You can use whatever yogurt you fancy. And then what I'm going to do is just pop the lid on and then give this a really good blitz up. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit lumpy, but just blitz it as much or as little as you'd like. Once it's all blitzed up nicely, then just want to pour them into your lolly molds, pop them in the freezer and let them freeze for a couple of hours and then enjoy. So my next ice lolly is just going to be a freshly squeezed orange ice lolly. So what I have got here is two Jaffa oranges. I find these oranges are definitely the like sweetest and the most flavoursome. They're just delicious. So what I'm going to do with these is just use this little orange squeezer and just squeeze all of the juice out of these oranges. And then I will just pour them into my lolly moulds. Again, freeze them for a couple of hours. And once they are ready, you know this has got nothing bad in it at all. No artificial colours, just 100% orange juice. So we are going to make some lemonade ice lollies. So I've got a whole lemon here, which again, I will squeeze the juice out of using this little juice squeezer. And then I have also got some 7-Up here. You can use lemonade, whatever you've got really, um, whatever you fancy. Or if you want, you can actually just use water as well um, and have a little bit of sugar in here instead. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to just squeeze the juice out of my lemons and then I'm going to pour that juice into my lolly moulds. I will then just top that up with the 7-Up and I will give it a really, really good mix about together just with like the end of a spoon. Once I've done that, I'll just pop the little tops onto my lolly moulds, put them in the freezer and when they come out, they are so nice. This is a really, really nice and refreshing lolly. If you're someone who loves a sorbet, then this is definitely the lolly for you. So that's it. Those are my four ice lolly recipes. I hope you enjoyed those. Don't forget to go over to my Instagram too and check the watermelon ice lolly recipe out as well. And I will see you guys again next time. Bye.